the space traveler Voyager 1 has re-established contact. NASA engineers shared good news. The Voyager 1 spacecraft, which has been traveling through space for 46 years, sent data back to Earth after several months of silence. For the past five months, NASA has been working on fixing issues with the spacecraft, which is currently about 24 billion kilometers from Earth. On April 22nd, it was announced that the status of the most distant human-made object had been successfully checked. Today was a great day for Voyager 1, said Linda Spilker, a project scientist for Voyager at JPL, as quoted by CNN. We are back in contact with the spacecraft, and we look forward to the return of scientific data. The 46-year-old spacecraft stopped sending readable data to Earth on November 14, 2023. Controllers showed that Voyager 1 was receiving their commands, but the system was stuck, sending back garbled code. In March, the engineering team discovered that the problem was a critical chip in one of the spacecraft's three onboard computers called the Flight Data Subsystem, FDS. The FDS is responsible for packaging data before sending it to Earth. The team found that one chip responsible for storing part of the FDS memory, including part of the FDS computer's program code, was not working, NASA said in a statement. The space agency then developed a coded solution that successfully worked with the 46-year-old computer system and restored proper data reception. For the first time since November, Voyager 1 is returning usable data on the status and health of its onboard engineering systems. The next step will be to enable the spacecraft to start receiving scientific data again. This probe and its twin, Voyager 2, are the only spacecraft to have ever flown in interstellar space. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 is a pioneering spacecraft that is currently making its way through interstellar space. It is the most distant human-made object from Earth, continuing to transmit valuable data to scientists, allowing them to glimpse into the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. During the journey of both spacecraft, scientists have previously encountered communication problems. In 2020, the NASA team did not receive messages from Voyager 2 for seven months. But these issues were resolved through their work. We never know for sure what will happen with the Voyagers, but I am constantly amazed that they continue to operate, said project manager Suzanne Dodd. We have had many anomalies, and they are becoming more complex. But so far, we have managed to overcome them, and the mission continues. And young engineers are joining our team and contributing their knowledge to keep the mission going. And nine interesting facts about Voyager. Fact one. The Voyager program launched two twin spacecraft, with Voyager 1 being launched 16 days after its younger sibling on September 5, 1977. The difference between the two Voyager missions was that Voyager 1 had a much shorter mission. It was only supposed to visit Jupiter and Saturn. Therefore, the shortest path was chosen for it, which allowed it to overtake its twin. On board the spacecraft is a golden record that indicates the location of Earth and contains a series of images and sounds for potential extraterrestrials. Fact two, Voyager 1 is currently the most distant human-made object from Earth. The American probe took the lead from the Pioneer 10 probe on February 17, 1998, when Voyager 1, at a distance of 69.42 AU from the Sun, approximately 10.4 billion kilometer, surpassed its American counterpart. Fact 3. Voyager 1 is also the fastest spacecraft leaving the solar system. Although New Horizons, launched on January 19, 2006, had a higher launch speed, the successful gravitational maneuvers of the Voyagers ultimately allow them to travel much faster. Fact 4. At certain times of the year, the distance between Voyager 1 and Earth decreases. 
This is because Earth's speed around the sun, approximately 30 kilometers stess, is higher than the speed at which Voyager 1 is moving away from our planet. Fact 5. One of the latest tasks in Voyager 1 scientific program is the study of the boundaries of the heliosphere. This is the region of space around the sun where the solar wind plasma moves at supersonic speeds relative to the sun. Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft to transmit information about what happens in the interstellar medium. In 2004, when Voyager 1 was 94 AU from the sun, it crossed the termination shock, where the solar wind slows down below the speed of sound in the plasma. The probe entered a region called the Helios Heath, where the solar wind behaves like a compressible gas due to its interaction with the interstellar medium. Fact 6. Voyager 1 left the boundaries of the solar system around August 25, 2012. A group of scientists published the results of studying the oscillations of the plasma surrounding the spacecraft. These results matched the calculated electron density for the interstellar medium. Fact 7. Despite the planned operational period of Voyager 1 having long since ended, some of its equipment is still functional. The instruments are powered by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators running on plutonium-238. The electrical power decreases over time due to the decay of plutonium. By 2012, the electrical power had dropped by 45% and the minimum necessary power for the equipment will be available until approximately 2025. Fact 8. On November 28, 2017, 37 years after the last activation, the trajectory correction engines were fired for 10 milliseconds. They were last activated on November 8, 1980, when Voyager 1 was flying past Saturn. Fact 9. Voyager 1 is moving along a hyperbolic trajectory, which means it will not return to the solar system due to its powerful gravity. After 40,000 years of wandering through the interstellar medium, Voyager 1 will pass close to the star Gliese 445 within 1.6 light years in the constellation Camelopardalis. Most likely, Voyager 1 will continue to wander eternally through our Milky Way galaxy.